Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to another DOI Creation 7 video. I am Jeanette, also known as Soraya of DOI Creations. All right, guys, I am getting ready to do the 15 Yarny YouTube channel questions. Okay, so this is a new tag that's going around. Now, I wasn't uh, tagged directly into this um, tag. However, um, the tag was open to whomever wanted to do the tag. So that's exactly how I'm going to do it as well. If you do have a YouTube channel and you would like to do this tag, please, by all means, um, do this tag. I don't like to say Pacific names because I do not, okay, want to leave anyone out of doing the tag. So I'd like you to open it up to everyone. So if you're seeing this tag and you'd like to do it, please make sure that you do it as well. Before I get started, you know, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. So again, there is 15 questions. I got my glasses and I'm going to go ahead and get started with question number one. Question number one said, what made you decide to create a YouTube channel? Um, I have always wanted to uh, start a YouTube channel ever since I start watching OVW Fresh Off the Hook. I used to love how the young ladies and men would showcase all of their crochet uh, items. And I thought it was just a great way to display and show my creations as well. So I've, I've been wanting to do it. And I think watching Fresh Off the Hook was the platform that inspired me to go ahead and do it. Number two, what is your most favorite video you have ever uploaded? My favorite video is when I did a Dr. Sabe's product review. I did a product review on some herbs, which was um, Bromine Plus, to teach you how to heal your body within. And that is my first video that ever hit over 100,000 views. I think I got like 105 or 110 views right now. And if you'd like to see that video that I'm speaking about, I will leave it in the description box below. And what it did was it showed me um, how important and imperative it is to share knowledge of natural healings. So I think that's why that video does really did very, very well and still doing very well here on the YT, which was my Dr. Sabe's Bromine Plus review. And I think it's also with Black Sea Ore as well. Number three, have you ever met any viewers or other YouTubers? I did meet uh, one of my viewers. Here is Tina Craft by D. Rose. She is the first person um, that I met as a, as a viewer and a, um, a YouTuber because she was watching my videos before she started doing her YouTube channel. And also I met uh, one of my viewers who is Lisa Darling. Um, we realized after we did a meetup when she provided me with a huge happy meal that we went way back to grammar school days. We, we, we realized we knew each other from back in the day. So I have met, I'm trying to see, did I meet anyone else? And that's all I've met so far. Number four, what do you feel is the... Um, I guess I said, what, uh, I'm sorry, what do you feel is the ultimate length of a video? How often do you feel you should upload? Um, the length of the video is, I, I feel it's dependent on the, the creator who's creating the video. Um, I used to try to make my videos, because part two, it says how often, I mean, uh, the, okay, we're talking about the length. The length varies, okay? Um I think you should make the videos to whatever you presenting. Sometimes I used to do my videos and I used to speed through everything. I mean, I will go back and watch the video and I was like, I feel like I was racing to get done with the video because I didn't want my videos to be too long. But nowadays I learned to take my time to do my videos. So when I'm explaining something, it's clear and so the length of your video is depends on the contents that you are 
created so i have no length you can take as long or as short as you prefer and how often do you feel you should upload um i try to i try to upload daily that doesn't always happen but for me i try to upload if i can't do it daily i try to do three to four videos per week number five what is your favorite type of videos to film uh, my favorite types of videos is when i'm um filming my finished products i love to show the end results because i'd be ex just as excited to see how it's going to turn out more than my viewers so that and also happy meal i think happy meals i love doing happy meal because it just makes me feel like somebody is thinking about you and they want to make you happy so they send over happy meal it's a small token or sometimes a large token of appreciation of what you're doing and they send over happy meal so my finished work and also happy meals are my favorite videos to uh, film number six do you have any self imposed rules for yourself regarding your videos um i try to be mindful that when um when i'm speaking that i'm speaking clearly also um i try not to use well i do not well uh, hopefully i don't use any type of you know any vulgar language or any swearing or anything like that i like to make my videos really fun really interesting that anyone can watch so that's not a rule that's just a character trait that i have number seven how do you prepare for your next video i like to prepare for my video by writing it down i like to have a notepad to say what type of videos i'm getting ready to upload i share with you guys on previous videos where i have my tablet that i picked up from the dollar tree and i like to say hey this is these are the type of videos that i would like to upload for the week so i like to write down what's my next video is going to be uh, be about however life happens i don't always get to do that but that is my um way to prepare for the next video number eight says what enjoyment editing uh what equipment editing program do you use i use well i have an iphone and i was using imovie editing to edit my videos however I, I share with you guys i was having so many problems with my storage so i went to you start using filmora so filmora is my editing equipment that i'm using right now which is pretty good number nine do you have a facebook group instagram rivalry or other yes i do have a facebook group well i do have a facebook page an instagram page but no i do not have rivalry i will leave my facebook and my instagram always in the description box below in case you want to follow me over there on those social media as well okay number 10 said have you ever done a tutorial yes i have done a tutorial second part of that if so and more than one which was your favorite to film um my favorite what is my favorite i don't know which one is my favorite because what i did when i started uh doing youtube or even start doing tutorials i really didn't understand how to position my camera so everyone can see what i was doing versus me looking at myself um, I think my favorite is whichever one I realized how to turn the camera off me and then actually showing everybody else what I'm doing. What that first item was, I don't remember. Maybe some crochet earrings. I really don't remember. It's just all about when I learned how to position my camera. All right. Number 11 said, have you ever held a giveaway? Have you ever won a giveaway? yes i have held several uh giveaways um but have i ever won a giveaway yes i have i won one um from tina 
Number 12, have you ever done a vlog a day for a month, data, video every day? If so, do you think you'll ever, if not, do you think you ever will? Yes, I have done a vita before. That means video every day. And yes, I will do it again. It's challenging though. Um, number 13 says, have you ever lost your Crojo? If so, how did you get it back? Yes, I have lost my Crojo more on more than one occasion. Uh, and the way that I get it back is watching YouTube. I got it back watching other projects that everyone else was making, um, seeing their commitment and dedication to continue to crochet. It really inspired me to, hey, go ahead and pick up back up the crochet hook. Now, it didn't happen right away. I had to watch quite a few videos to pick up my crochet. Um, but I that's the method that I use when I just don't want to crochet anymore. I just I just don't want to do it. I'll start watching a lot of crochet videos to inspire me to get, you know, to get back into the swing of things. Um, number 14 says, how has your channel changed? Um, right now, my channel has not changed. I'm pretty much still doing the standard things that I initially start off with. The only changes that I made was adding uh, wire jewelry to the mix. I always made uh, crochet jewelry, crochet earrings, crochet um, wristband. So adding wire to my mixture help my channel to change in the best way. And there will be more changes here on my channel, but adding the wires, doing different type of jewelry really helped the video to change or my channel to change. And the last one says, do you have any advice for someone thinking about starting their own channel? Um, the advice I can have is do not keep procrastinating. If it's something that you really want to do, and it's got to be something that you really want to do because of the changes that you two constantly are making. If you want to do it, go ahead and start it right away. Don't worry about if it's perfect because we all start off a little stale, a little dry. But as you're doing your videos, you become a little bit looser. Uh, you get to engage more with your audience and your audience, your subscribers help you to really get over the nervousness by the uh, helpful comments, the positive comments. So if you want to start your channel, um, my advice is don't procrastinate. Go ahead and get started. We would love to see what your videos or channel would be about. So that was the 15 questions uh, that was asked for the 15 Yarning YouTube channel question, which is so, so awesome. I really do love this. Yeah, this was so, so, um, so cool. Again, guys, if this is something that you would like to do, go ahead. Do I will leave all the questions in my description box below, okay? I don't want to leave out anyone of doing this uh, 15 yarny questions. So make sure you check down below and yeah, go ahead and do it. I want to hear what you got to say. All right, guys, that is it. That is all I want to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I appreciate it so, so very much. And until next video, please join the family by clicking on that subscribe button. Also clicking on your bell to set up all. And until next video, always remember y'all, Psalm 684 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking with you guys in the next video really, really soon. All right. Bye for now.